Hey guys, how's it going? So in this tutorial, I'll be showing you guys how to install PyMedGen on a Windows PC. So PyMedGen is a robust open source Python library for materials analysis. And among a few features, it can be really useful to read input files such as, you know, save Gaussian, wasp, etc. and then analyze the outputs. So we'll be learning how to install it on a Windows PC. So the first thing that you're going to need is of course Python. So I have the latest version of the Python that is 3.7.3 at the time of making this video installed. And also I'm not really sure about it, but I suppose that PyMedGen may need a 64 bit version of Python because um, I did try to, you know, uh, get it installed on 32 bit version, but I don't think that worked. So if you head down to, you know, on the homepage of PyMedGen, then you can see that there are two ways to install it. So one is via Conda and the another is via pip. Now, pip installations are really easy. So if you, you know, watch my last video on Python and how to get up the, you know, scientific computing libraries working, then I showed you guys how to install Python and pip relatively very easily. And so, uh, you know, my first thought about installing Python was with pip. However, although it works, you know, seamlessly on a Linux Ubuntu PC, however, on Windows, um, when I use the command, you know, pip install pymedgen, as you can see right here. So I gave the command pip install pymedgen, and then, you know, it uh, basically tried to install it, but it ran into an error with the spglib library. So there's something wrong with it. So this method uh, really doesn't work. So we will be now choosing the next route that is via Conda. So to install PyMedGen via Conda and I have tested it and it works. So you will head over to the Conda homepage and then head over to Mini Conda. So you'll be downloading a Mini Conda installer. So since we are on a Windows PC, we'll be downloading a 64-bit EXE installer. So just go ahead and download it. And I think I'll save it and just wait for the download to complete. Okay, so here it is. So Miniconda has downloaded now, so we'll just go ahead and double click on it to install it. Just click on next here. I agree and next and next and um, add a conda to my path environment variable. Um, since they're saying it is not recommended, so I'll just go and and you know, um, continue with the installation. Now just wait for it to install. Okay. Okay. So once the installation is complete, just go ahead and click on next and then click on finish. And we'll just, you know, we should have unchecked those boxes and just avoid those links and then launch your, you know, start menu and head over to the, um, let me see. So here we have an Oconda prompt and an Oconda PowerShell prompt. So which one should we launch? Um, I guess we'll launch the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. I don't really remember um, which one is the right one for the installation. Anyhow, we'll just go ahead and launch it and wait for it to, you know, work. Okay, so this is the PowerShell prompt. However, I'll also check out the Anaconda prompt. So. Okay, so I think we'll be using the Anaconda prompt rather than the Anaconda PowerShell prompt. So just go ahead and close that. And here we'll be, you know, once, you know, you open that prompt, you will just run these commands. So it's as simple as just copying this command corner install channel math side by gen and then just paste that here and hit on enter. So what this will do is it will install PyMedGen on your PC. However, there's just one little problem. Um, while we wait for this installation to complete, um, the thing about Conda is that it ships with its own Python. So it's like, you know, if you already had Python on your PC, then it's like installing Python twice. So if you head over to the program files or wherever you install Conda, then you will notice, um, let me see, where is it? Um, Anaconda. Uh, 
Okay, so um, while I'm not able to find the where Conda installation took place, what we are going to do is we are going to hit on yes. So here what you can see is all the libraries that are going to be needed by PyMedGen. So all these new packages will be installed like SciPy, SimPy. However, we already did install those, but you know, for Conda, these are kind of like they are not installed because it's only considers its own Python. So, I mean, I'll show you guys, but if I am able to find where it was installed, so let me just go in and do this um, more and open file location and then properties and then C drive users. Okay, so it is in my users, Miniconda 3. All right, so that was easy. Um, the C drive users there and um, Miniconda 3, so there it is. So what you can notice here is um, it's almost like its own you know has its own python here and so it's almost like its own python installation so whatever we are downloading now will be installed to this location that is users then username then miniconda 3 lib and then in the site packages so whatever we are installing so once it's installed we'll have a folder or directory called pymetgen here you know containing the uh, PyMetgen library. However, we have our, you know, the Python that we have been working on is in C drive um, users Dell programs, sorry, app data local and then programs and then Python. So here is where, where we have our own Python installation. So we will want the library to be in the lib folder and in the site packages and I'm sorry. So we we'll want a library to be here. However, it's currently being installed somewhere else. So, but that is not a very big issue because what we are going to do at the end of this whole installation is we are going to be copying all the libraries that Conda is installing right now to its own location. And then we will copy all those back to here. And once we do that, it will be just like we installed, you know, PyMedGen for our original Python. So that is the trick here. That is the way we will be, you know, installing PyMetGen. So we'll just now go ahead and wait for the installation to complete. Okay, so the installation of PyMetGen is finally finished using Conda. However, I did hit a little bit of hiccup. So let me just go ahead and walk you through it. So what happened was I um, ran the command. Um, let me see. All right, over here. So I ran the command um, that we see here and then it asked for me to, you know, give the permission to download all these packages. So I hit yes over here. However, while downloading all those packages, um, we hit a hiccup in downloading Qt 5.9.7. So as you can see, it was, you know, it crashed at 68%. And then Conda basically gave me an error that um, the downloaded bytes did not match Conda land or whatever. And that was because of that QD package. So I ran the command once again over here. And then once again, you know, it found that the only package uh, missing was the QD 5.9.7. So it just went ahead and, uh, you know, again, asked me the permission and then downloaded QD 5.9.7, which this time downloaded and installed perfectly. And therefore the, you know, it gave me that the executing transaction and the verifying transaction is done. So now we have PyMetGen installed on our system. However, this PyMetGen was installed in a different location than our default Python installation directory. So we are going to the directory where we installed Miniconda 3 and then go to lib and then to the site packages folder and then just go ahead and copy all the contents over here and then come back to user, then go to app data local programs um, let me see here python lib then site packages over here and then just go ahead and paste all these so the reason we are doing this is because our original python was installed over here but however when we installed miniconda then installed its own version of python as well so whatever we package we download using the anconda it's going to get installed at the their python location 
so we are just going to do this and the reason we are doing it is because um, of course I can prove it to you that the package that we just installed if you open the Python terminal and if you type in the command import by Medgen then it's gonna say I'm sorry um, import then it's gonna say that the module was not found so in order to you know uh, install it there so we are doing this copy so I'll just pause this video once again while this copying finishes and see you again soon okay so now that the copying is complete um, we launch the Python terminal and check and see if we can now use pymatgen or not so we'll give the command import pymatgen and wait for it to see okay so um, we are receiving a few errors and they seem to be regarding um, numpy and mkl so what i'm going to do is so since the primate gen installed perfectly fine and we also copied all the contents to the python directory so what we are going to do next is we are going to open the command line and try to install um, numpy once again okay so it says that numpy is already installed so what i'm going to do is i'm going to delete numpy from the python installation folder so here it is so i'll just go ahead and delete these three directories and then try to install numpy once again Okay, so NumPy is now installed, so we'll go come back to the Python terminal and try to import PyMedGen once again. And this time we noticed some problems with the... Um, I suppose that this error could be related to the SciPy, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to install SciPy once again too, so I'll just come back to the Python directory and get rid of SciPy as well. So I'll get rid of SciPy here and then install it once again. SciPy. Um, I'll have to close the Python terminal to delete it. Okay, so I'm having some trouble. I'll just um, reinstall it. Okay, so SciPy also is now installed and we are continually, um, you know, receiving this error by Medgen. Um, however, I'll just open the Python terminal once again and try to import by Medgen once again and see what do we get now. And finally, so there we are. So all we had to do was, um, re you know, install NumPy and SciPy along with, you know, installing PyMedGen using Anaconda and then copying all the contents over to the original Python installation. However, then you will have to reinstall SciPy and NumPy. So that's all we had to do. And now we can import PyMedGen successfully, as you can see. So that is the installation. And so if you're going to be following my tutorial to install PyMedGen and get it working on a Windows PC, however, this procedure is a whole lot of simple on Ubuntu. There you only have to install Python, then pip, and then the PyMedGen and then everything works seamlessly however if you are going to install it on windows then you will have to follow the instructions and then even after that you might have to reinstall certain packages such as matplotlib scipy numpy etc so that's it that's how you get pymagin working on a windows pc thanks for watching and in case you enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this thanks for watching and have a great day